Rocket science is simple. It starts off with recognition that in the universe, there are some things that never change. One such thing is momentum, the product of mass and velocity of an object. Consider this. Imagine you're on a cart on wheels. And you got lots of bricks in your cart. Then you start throwing bricks out the cart one brick at a time. You can throw big bricks, you can throw small bricks, you can throw them fast, you can throw them slow. But here's the thing. You are gonna give momentum to the bricks going this way. And that means that you're gonna get the exact opposite momentum in the other way because momentum never changes. A rocket like the one that took people to the moon or the space shuttle is just like that. The only question is, what are you gonna throw out and how do you have the energy to throw it out? In a chemical rocket, what you throw out is a burnt mixture of fuel and oxygen. And how you get the energy to throw it out comes from the chemical bonds. Think of atoms as being balls that are tied up with really taut elastic springs. When you cut that elastic, these balls are gonna fly around all over the place. And that's what we call as temperature. So when you cut those bonds, the whole gas heats up and the heated gas expands. So this is what you see in your car engine, this is what you see in your stove, and that's what you see in a bomb. A rocket is just like a bomb, but with a hole in the back. The only job of a rocket designer is to design the right hole. So how are you gonna design a hole for this expanding gas so that expanding gas shoots out the back like a jet? Now this jet for a rocket engine can be as fast as two or three miles per second or 10,000 miles an hour. That's fast, but that's not fast enough. If we wanna to go to destinations like Mars, we need rockets that shoot things out the back much, much faster. And that brings us to the need for plasma rockets.